The most basic type of bridge is a beam bridge. If you have ever put a piece of wood across a stream, you have made a beam bridge. The piece of wood is the beam. Let's first think about the forces at work. When we put the wood across the stream, there will be very little bend in the wood. This is because the wood is strong enough to resist the static load of its own weight. However, as we add an external force in the form of a dynamic load, in this case an orange block, the wood will begin to bend as this dynamic load combined with its static load is too much for the wood to resist. This will lead to the internal forces of compression and tension. The top of the wood is being pushed together. It is experiencing compression. The bottom of the wood is being pulled apart. It is experiencing tension. If we look at a beam bridge, we can imagine the same forces at work. If the static and dynamic loads become too high, the bridge will bend. This will lead to compression on the top of the bridge and tension on the bottom. Engineers use concrete or steel beams to resist this bending. The thicker the beam, the better able it is to resist bending. However, as the bridge gets longer and longer, the beam has to get thicker and thicker and eventually it would become too big and heavy for it to be able to support itself. As you go to the street view, you will see a simple beam bridge in Salt Lake City, Utah. This bridge uses many steel beams to support the road above. As you move under the bridge, look up at the beams. What letter of the alphabet do they remind you of? Here's a hint. It is a letter between H and J in the alphabet. This type of beam helps to spread out the force.